I'm like the legislator. Here you go, Andrew. Thank you, Kathy. Hey, real quick, uh, the district I represent is K-10, more or less. It goes all the way from West Lawrence up to Renner Road. They do have a, the uh, areas around Cedar Creek, the area they represent. A couple of things I want to talk about is, one, we passed out of the House this year a very good sexual orientated business uh, uh, bill. With the help of Lance and uh, a couple of folks on the uh, Federal State Committee, we put together a good bill and ran it out of the House. And it uh, ended up being a, a good, decent bill never got heard in the Senate. We have to make changes. Guys, you have to be involved. I love you're here on a 100 degree day and you're willing to talk to uh, and listen to these legislators and other elected officials. Guys, you gotta put it in motion. For every one of you here today, you have to make phone calls. You have to drop emails. You need to uh, put uh, yard signs up. It's no longer the silent majority wins. We cannot depend upon just good people doing the right thing. We have to depend on good people doing the right thing over and over and over and over again. Guys, we have to dig in. Right now, you hear some people talking about a culture war going on. I can I can tell you this. I am in the fight with Arlen Siegfried, with Lance Kinzer, and Mary Booker Cook, and Rob Olson, and Karen Brownlee, and all the other good, strong conservatives out there fighting the fight. Guys, we are being attacked from every position. Everything that we hold dear, whether it be taxes, whether it be the growth in government, whether it be fighting unions, and heaven forbid, the attack on the family. This year we passed out of the House a, 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 a marriage covenant, a covenant marriage law. It again failed in the Senate. Guys, we have to make changes. I have to have you guys on board emailing your legislators, getting changes done. Guys, I hope you make a good decision in, in, in August. There are a lot of people running this primary. There are ones that are, that are men of character, and there are those who are not. It is up to you to do your homework and find out what can that best support your values, and you get out and you work, and you get them over the benchmark. Let's go. Let's take this country back. Let's make sure we're the handing off to our kids, and let's make sure we have a generation of good young conservatives coming up behind us that we can make a difference and make America the number one country in the world again. Thank you, Anthony. Very nice. Josh Schwab, representative from District 49. There's a step right here. You can do it. You're a big boy. This is my ninth Olathe picnic, and I tell you what, you, Kathy really, really does a great job about getting folks out here. And, and as someone who's been chair of a, of a Republican party, you don't get you don't, you don't get paid for doing it, but you pour your soul into it. Um, I, I, I I got an iPad, and so I've been downloading books and reading on it. And one of the ones that was free was Common Sense. It's common Sense. They would give that one out for free, so I read it. In the second chapter, he talks about we all know revolutions inherent. It's going to happen. But a lot of people say, well, now's not the time. But he said it was immoral for us to push this battle to the next generation and make them die for freedom. We should be the ones dying for their freedom. 150 years later, we are now taking from the next generation so that we can have bigger houses and nicer cars. Is there anything un more un-American than that? I'm going to tell you, we you are to blame. We can blame Congress, we can blame the President if we want to, but it's our fault. Because we lay down, we just let it happen. we got an election coming up, we got a primary coming up. Don't let another election pass you by. And let's create a culture of independency and interdependency and not codependency on our U.S. government and our state government. Yeah. And at the end of the day, when you go to talk to your neighbors about the dire situation of Kansas, let it be known. You know where our revenues are at? We, do we know when the last time revenues were this low? 2007. We're actually above 2007 levels. Who here cannot live on what they lived on in 2007? Your state, yeah, yeah I'd love to have my job that I had in 2007. Um, so with my neighbor who's been looking for six months. I'm telling you folks, it is asking, they think it's asking too much to take a pay cut. Or well, they're, they're getting state employees are getting pay raises. While they're taking one penny out of every dollar, out of your pocket, to fund it. So that 
football teams can have any influence. Think about it. Vote. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine.